What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Google has pushed out the April Google Play system update for the Galaxy S25 series and this may be available for many other devices as well and it's very important to update this on your Galaxy 4. And I want to tell you why but before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe. You get to learn a lot about your devices, you will stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone. All the new updates, tips and tricks, features and everything that you need to know will be showcased on the channel. So go ahead subscribe give this video a like if you find this video useful and while you do that if you have not downloaded our wallpaper application wallverse yet go ahead download it there are some fantastic wallpapers on the application and i keep updating this app with new uh, wallpapers almost every day or at least five days a week you will see the brand new wallpapers on the application so go ahead download it and do not forget to rate it on google play store that encourages me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys now let's dive in let's go ahead let's go to the settings here and let me tap on security and privacy and tap on updates now this is where you will find google play system update as of now this is march 2025 this is the first time i have got the google play system update for the current month all this while i always got the update for the previous month and now I can see the current month Google Play system update. Let me tap on this. As you can see, it's 41 MB, latest security update from Google, update now to keep safe and improve device stability. Now I will take you through what is changed with this update. Let me first download and install this. It's downloaded. I will have to restart the device to update this. Let me go ahead and restart the device. It's restarted. Let's unlock the device. Now let's go to the settings. Let's make sure that this is the latest update we have got. Security and privacy, updates. Yeah, we have got the April Google Play system update. My phone is up to date and this is gonna keep the phone safe and secure and also add some new features to this. Now, some people out there on the channel do ask me why am I even making a video about this small update? Now you see this channel is about keeping you guys updated with all the new updates that you get and more or less all the updates that I keep you guys posted with are important for your device. And especially the Google Play system update and the security patches are very crucial for your devices. So I keep you guys posted about this now let me go ahead and tell you why this update is important let me open the google system release notes here this is officially from google as you can see support.google.com and google says google system updates make your android devices more secure and reliable and give you new and useful features they include updates from Google to the Android operating system, Google Play Store and Google Play Services. So this update includes all this. It is an update for the Google Play Store, Play Services and the Android operating system itself. And these updates are available for phones, tablets, Android TV, Google TV, etc. So uh, you can update all your devices. Now let me tell you the uh, April 2025 uh, Google Play system update release notes here. As you can see, this is 23rd so this was released day before yesterday and you can see this is android web view improvements to security and privacy and update for bug fixes new developer feature for google and third-party app developers to support functionality related to displaying web content in their applications this is more for developers then we've got google play services this is version 25.15 let me show you how to check this let's go to the settings and tap on applications and here you will see google play services Let's go to Google Play services here. Yeah, Google Play services. Now this is the all new version 25.15.60. That is the new version that we are seeing here, 25.15. Now what this brings is developer services, updates to system management services that improve battery life, device storage, and network storage. And then we have got system management, updates to system management services that improve privacy, and we have got wallet, uh, phone, as well as Wear OS. With this feature, you can add new types of cards to your watch through the Google Wallet application. Google Maps can now display transit passes stored in your Google Wallet for faster and easier use. This update improves experience in Google Wallet receipts. This update improves experience in transit cards for Google Wallet in Australia. Those are the improvements and features which is brought in by this update for the Google Wallet. And then comes Google Play Store for the phone. With this update, you can now preview apps through videos shown in search results. You can now get the option to turn on promotional notifications during play, onboarding on new devices. You will now see updates from recent games you play in search home page. Now, those are the new features or changes on Google Play Store. And then we've got Google's Android system intelligence, private compute services, Google Play services. Now let's check out the Google Play services. We've got bug fixes for account management related services, device connectivity, location context, 
security and privacy this is important enables a future optional security feature which will automatically restart your device if locked for three consecutive days so this is a future optional security feature it says maybe this is not uh, active yet on the device even after the update i'm not very sure about that what this does is this will automatically restart your device if locked for three consecutive days now this feature is also available on the galaxy phones we'll be able to set the auto restart option let's uh, go to the settings let's search for restart as you can see under device care we have got this feature restart on schedule or restart when needed if you enable restart on schedule you can set the time and date on which you want to restart the phone usually when you restart the phone the security of the device improves because the data gets encrypted every time your phone is restarted it needs the login password to open the phone so it's a very critical feature which you can turn it on uh, and if you do not turn this on uh, Google has provided this feature by default now and this is also optional they say let's see how this goes uh, in the future I will keep you guys posted if this feature shows up on the system so there we go we've got security and privacy feature also which is being added and a few more options like we've got utility with this feature it's easier to set up your new device and transfer data from your old device bug fixes for utilities related services all these are available now with this all new update now that is the reason we should always keep our phone up to date with Google Play system updates as well as the security patches from Samsung or any other OEMs. So uh, make sure you update your device and let me know whether you have got this update or not. Drop a comment. As of now, only S25 series has got this April, uh, April Google Play system update. I don't see that on the S24 Ultra or the S23 Ultra. Only on S25 series I'm able to see this update and very soon I think we should be able to get it for the other devices as well. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it, go ahead, subscribe, give this video a like and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volverse. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.